All right, welcome back to Al's Home Kitchen Pizzeria. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the 72 hour dough recipe that is one of my earlier videos and we're gonna bake a pizza from it and see what the results are. Um, before we get started here, the first thing you need to make sure you do is that you preheat your oven with a stone or a steel to as high as it will go. 525 is fine. Um, if you have 550, go to 550. The higher, the better. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our dough and it's really got an amazing aroma from I'm fermenting for three days. Um, should be pretty easy to work with. I brought it out of the fridge about two hours before use um, to let it come to kind of room temperature. And you're gonna let it just fall out on the hand like that. We're gonna put it in some flour, make sure it's good, good and covered. And then we're gonna put some flour down on our work surface. And we're gonna drop the dough down. Now, as you've seen I do before, I kind of use my palm. I don't get to the very edge because I want to leave the, the crust area. And then I'm just going to slowly push out very gently. You're not really forcing it down a lot here. You're just kind of slowly spreading it out. Um, as you go here, you want to make sure that you're using your fingers to form. Push down hard there to make sure that you form that seal for your crust. I'll go around a couple of times and do that. You don't want to leave too wide here because it'll it'll puff up quite a bit especially with dough that's been sitting for three days it's got a lot of air bubbles trapped in there i'm sure you can flip it over and now we can do the same thing just want to make sure you go around the edge and form your seal once you do that you can pick it up and you can kind of just get the see all the excess flour that just came off of there nice and gently you don't have to do it or very hard and then we're just gonna let gravity do its work we're just gonna stretch with our hands like this Slowly just work around. This dough is gonna spread very easily. You can see it just dropping. And we're gonna to try to spread this out to about a 16 inch. Um, you can use smaller portions of the dough if you wanna do a 10 or 12 inch pizza. Um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to dust my peel with some semolina. Make sure that's good and coated. Now we're going to take the pizza and we're going to lay it on the peel. And semolina gives you a lot of forgiveness. You can slide it around on here. It's not really going to be a big deal. It's not going to stick very easily. Um, so you can kind of give it a little bit of a stretch on here to kind of get it to the shape you want. Next, we're going to put our sauce on. Um, I'm not going to go through the recipe for making the sauce. I've got several of them on my channel if you want to look and see what I use. Um, really, you could use anything you wanted. I mean, you could use jar sauce if you wanted, if that's what you do. Um, so we're just gonna spread that nice and thin. We don't wanna go too heavy on the sauce. And I'm gonna go with just cheese on this one. I'm gonna just make a traditional New York style pizza. Um, coming from Oneonta, New York, from my childhood, I, this is the kind of pizza I ate every day of my life, so it's kind of what I go back to. Nothing fancy on it, just plain cheese. Um, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of Romano on the sauce. And then we're gonna go with our whole milk shredded mozzarella, low moisture. Again, you don't wanna go super heavy on this, but get a nice coating of it. All right, and now once we got this done, we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the preheated oven and we're gonna see if the 72 hours was worth the wait. You do want to make sure that it doesn't stick first though. So you want to slide it back and forth. You can see how easily that slides on this peel. That's the semolina doing its job. Love the stuff. Okay, and into the oven we are. Now we're going to give it probably about six or seven minutes and then we're going to rotate it and give it another couple of minutes and it should be done. Okay, so the pizza's been in the oven for about five minutes. I'm going to try to see if I can show you how to rotate this. So we're going to open and close it as fast as we can. We don't want to leave it open, let the heat out. I'm just going to quickly slide the peel underneath it, kind of slide it out a little bit, and just kind of give it a quick turn with your fingers, and then right back in. Be careful not to burn yourself. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes in the oven, and here's what we get. So it came out pretty brown and crunchy. You can see it's nice and crispy. You can see the bottom um, browned up pretty nice. Got some nice dark spots on it. Let's see what happens when we cut through it. 
can hear it crunching. Looks beautiful. So you got some nice airy holes in there. It's nice and soft. Beautiful, just like New York style. 